Hello there. In this video, we're going to introduce how you can combine multiple code snippets together to get the desired result. In this case, we're going to combine a timer and then with click to position object. Now, obviously, I'm not going to click to position the object. I'm going to use the timer to position it. So we're going to sh I'm going to show you how you can change your code to get the result based on what we were going to build here. So let's go ahead and first create the timer. So using the code snippets, I can select the simple timer. I'm going to select that code snippet and then say apply. Again, it's going to apply the code into our actions panel here. Let's go ahead now and add in the second code snippet. So I'm going to select the object. I'm going to say uh, click to position an object. Now, the reason why I have to select the object is let me just show you what happens if I don't select it. I'm going to get an error that says that this action requires an object selected on the stage. Even though we're not going to use that, we need to have it selected to add the code to the project. So let's go ahead and add it now. And we'll see that, that code is placed at the bottom of the action script file. Now, we need to combine the two of these together. So let's take a look at the first one. In this case, I have, um, I have this uh, event handler that's been created that I want to use to then control this, um, this function here at the bottom, in this click to position. So let's modify the top function here. Instead of increasing the uh, time elapsed, let's, let's instead add a line after this, where I'm going to execute the event handler from the second code snippet. The code snippet names can sometimes be confusing, so let's actually just copy and paste this to make sure we get the spelling right. So I'm going to copy and paste. And again, this is a function, so I want to have my open and close parentheses. Now, if I ran this, I was going to, I'm going to get an error. And the reason why is because I need to actually provide an a mouse event when I execute this function. I'm not passing a mouse event on line 19 here. So I'm going to modify this and remove the mouse event required parameter inside of our event handler. I'm also going to remove the add event listener for the blue square. OK, let's go ahead and test this and see what we have. You'll see that the seconds have elapsed, and I have the object move correctly. But the movement of it isn't exactly what I wanted, so let's modify that next. Inside of my, uh, of my event handle down here at the bottom, I don't want to move it to a specific location. I want to modify its existing location and maybe add, say, five pixels each time. So let's go ahead and modify this. I'm just going to say blue square dot x equals blue square dot x plus five. And let's do the same thing with y. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it again. There, you'll see now the object is moving every single time that the timer hits. Now, we've done this a similar example with this before, but in this case I'm using two separate code snippets. So I'm able to do it first using the simple timer, and I've been able to use the click to position an object and repurpose it to do something else. Now I can use this to then modify and do it use in other ways of my project as well. In the next video, we're going to show how you can use code snippets to learn new ActionScript. We're going to introduce how you can work with text fields in ActionScript using code snippets and explore how you can you know, work with the code and then find out new things about ActionScript.